All right, let's go through this again. All right, so level 10, level 9, level 6. Too high level. Mm. Yep, uh, we, we can keep that. Well, I'm pretty sure we got a rookie D. Yep, level 6, we got a rookie D. That is probably level 6. We are, we are actually just getting stuff that we would normally get. Nope, I am mistaken, that is too strong. Okay, it's the right level, so we're keeping it. Hello everybody, and welcome back to what might as well be considered the first episode of this Pokemon Sword Wonderlock. Uh... As you saw in the last episode, while I closed some things out, we, uh, we, it, it, it didn't go well. Let's just say that. It didn't go well at the end of the last episode. But, uh, here we are. We don't stay down. We just keep moving on. I mean, we were only three episodes in. Like, I might as well just, like, restart it. Um, I mean, to be honest, I could have just never uploaded those videos and then just restarted it. For, you know, whatever. Lesson learned. Well, is there even a lesson to be learned? I'm going to go ahead and keep playing. Actually, before I keep playing, I might as well show you all the team we have. Because, as you saw, that you should have saw at the beginning of the first episode if I did the little montage. We got the team ready to go. We did the wonder trading already. Um, and we're going to go over it real quick. Because I did go ahead and level everything up to where it should be. To replace what we were... Yeah, you know all that. We got Magby, our what is essentially our starter, level 10, to replace the score bunny we had. Um, unfortunately, it is uh, minus... Uh, what is this? Is it, this is Jolly? Yeah, this is Jolly. This is Jolly Nature. We're losing some special attack, which means our Ember is a little bit weaker. And Ember is going to be our main attack for quite a while. Actually, not too much longer. We get Flame Wheel at 16. Uh, but yeah. The, I don't know how often we're going to be using Magby throughout this playthrough. Because it doesn't evolve until, I think, level 30. So, not too sure about that. It kind of depends on what else we get along the way. Because I am just going to go to, um, like, one encounter per route. Because I realize half the excitement is seeing the Pokemon that we're going to get. So, I'm going to I'm gonna do, like, the full team. Oh, wait. Hold up. My team, well, no. Team isn't going to be on the layout yet. We got Rookie D. Uh, this is honestly just going to be probably going to be the best member of the team for a while. Uh, you know, it levels up. It evolves quickly. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be great against the first gym, too. So will Magby, but I get the feeling Rookie D is just going to be a little bit better. Uh, Peck, Home Claws, Rear, Lear, Power Trip. And then we got Dratini. Probably not going to be using Dratini for quite a while. All it has is Twister. Um, I don't remember looking up the rest of its moveset, but I'm just going to leave it as this for now. And uh, now that I realized that I forgot to do this earlier, I'm going to go ahead and put the team on the layout. All right, layout updated. And now we can go ahead and continue what we're doing. Now, as I was leveling, I did accidentally run into Hop to initiate the cutscene where he gives us Swift. Some of the Pokemon can learn Swift, so let's go ahead and teach it to someone. Uh, Rookie D, we're probably not going to teach it to. Dratini can probably benefit from it. And, uh... Let me just go ahead and mark all of these as... Not new anymore. Go ahead and fix Dratini's moveset real quick. Because, yeah, special attack is pretty close. So we are going to go ahead and move this around. Yeah, that's probably what we go with. We'll probably still be using Twister. So now let's head to this train station to uh, head to the wild area. Where we can probably get another encounter. Yeah, there's some weak Pokemon in there. We should be fine. Alright, before we go, I need to check how many Pokeballs I have. Or are we just going? I think we're just going. Okay, that's cool. Yep, the, we, we just went. Uh, what do we stop here for? It's the wild area. It's a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. 
All right, we are back here again. Look at that. I'd rather just, I'd rather not. I'd like to just go catch my Pokemon. That's Moto's though, you don't say. Okay, so yeah, we do have, I forgot they gave us so many Pokeballs. It's crazy. And now for the sake of, um, what am I trying to say? For the sake of the Nuzlocke and the number of encounters, I'm going to just do one Pokemon in the wild area. Maybe, I don't know, should I count the second area as a different part of the wild area? The one that we unlock later? No, I think just the one is fine. Let's go ahead and get our one. Uh, what would be the easiest? Let's just, let's just hit one of these. It doesn't really matter what we get. I just picking the one that might be the easiest to capture. Ember should be fine. Yeah, I can take another one easily. Ugh. So we'll catch this and then I'll skip ahead to the point where I'm starting the wonder trade because connecting to the internet and then waiting for the actual trade to start might take a while. And then of course I'll have to take another break to update the layout. But easy stuff. We got the Bunnelby. Not going to nickname it because it doesn't matter. You know, I will admit that that's the one thing I don't like about doing a Wonderlock is that like you can't nickname the Pokemon. I mean, you can nickname the ones that you're going to trade. But as for what you get, like, it's just stuck with whatever name they have. So I'm going to run off to the side over here. And then we'll start doing the trading. All right. Let's see what we got. Trading away. Our Bunnelby was level 8. I did check on that. And let's see what we get. And it's a Shinx. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to keep that most likely. Yep, we got ourselves a Shinx. Let's throw this on the team so it can start getting leveled. Oh yeah, the Shinx should probably be pretty decent, actually. Because we got the the Water Gym second. So yeah, there's something that can take that out pretty easily. Now, if I had the Fishing Rod, I would be able to get an encounter here. But I don't have it yet. I also need to keep track of where I'm getting all these encounters at. Or did I have an online thing? I don't remember. You know, now that I'm realizing we're supposed to go through, like all like the team yell stuff and then the um the ceremony again this is probably going to be another heavily edited episode fortunately it's all stuff that we've been through before i mean if i mean if you really want to see part of it that i'm skipping it's probably in the previous episode so there's always that but hopefully you've seen that episode by now if you're watching this one all right so like last time we will just be doing the number of subscribers we have but we are at 67 now. Gone up a whole one subscriber. I mean, hey, the episodes went up yesterday and I've gotten one subscriber since then. Although, actually, no. I think the second... No, yeah, the one that I picked my number in isn't currently up yet. But I've gotten one subscriber since I started this. Because only the intro on episode one are up yet. Are up right now. English is hard sometimes. I am ready to get my battles going. I'm wondering if just for the sake of the battle, yes, I am going to swap. I'm going to go ahead and throw Rookie D up front. I think that might work out a little bit better. I mean, realistically, I could have just ran to the Pokemon Center, and I probably should have, but we're reckless. We're going in as is. All right. First trainer battle with the new team. Now, I forget what level they're at. Oh, this level nine. It should be, shouldn't be that issue. It shouldn't be that difficult. I feel like maybe I might have had a little bit too much caffeine this morning, and I'm stumbling all over my words. Which is weird, because all I've had so far is my usual two cups of tea. Oh, oh I need a big stretch. Oh! Uh, maybe I'm just getting old. You know, going in, like, not fully healed isn't going to be too much of an issue anyways. Because I want to say Hop heals us before the third battle. Because that's when we team up. And Shinx learns Thundershock. I mean, ideally it needs to learn, like, Spark. But Thundershock is also probably fine. Alright, battle number two. I think this one has Nicket. Which, honestly, like, isn't an issue at all. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're actually, like, quite damaged. I didn't even realize. I probably need to go ahead and swap, actually.
You know what? Actually, I'll just heal. That'll be fine. I'm glad I noticed it, though, because if I just kept button mashing, we probably would have lost Rookie D. Which, for the time being, and like I said earlier, it's probably going to be, like, the best member of the team. Oh, no. Now that we have Shinx, it might be a little bit better. I don't know how quickly it evolves. I just remembered that, like, both Magby and Dratini are going to take quite a while to evolve. Meaning that they're going to be basics for a while. And Magby is not only basic, but a baby Pokemon. So, that's not really something I'm, like, thrilled to use. But, you know, it's what we got. We deal with it. I mean, realistically, we probably get some decent Pokemon to replace it with anyways. But, yeah. You know, usually, like, a team battle and, like, another Nuzlocke I've done would scare me. Because, like... So, like, in my free time, I might usually do, like, a randomized Nuzlocke. Or, like, one of the older, like, GBA games. Have they all the GBA? Yeah. Or, no, like, even the old DS games. And, obviously, since, like, they're randomized, you could be facing any two Pokemon. So, like, the idea of, like, a double battle where, like, they could be randomized into, like, two super strong Pokemon. And they could just target down one of my team. I usually be a little bit concerned. But I don't think I'll have that issue with this playthrough. Maybe later on when, like, the the opposing Pokemon are actually, like, kind of, like, high level and fully evolved and whatnot. But for now, it probably won't be an issue. I'm hoping in general this playthrough just isn't like too easy because that was my concern and that's why I limited the number of Pokemon that I would be using and then everything happened with like the poor crit and then I just realized that half the fun is this half half the fun of this is getting all the new Pokemon anyways so I don't know. I might slowly add some more restrictions as the game continues. As to what I can and can't do. I'm definitely thinking about some kind of, like, type restriction. Where I can only have, like... Well, like, I can't, like, have too many of a single type. Like, right now, it's obviously fine, because, like, none of the typings overlap. But eventually, like, say I was to get, like, another fire type. I wouldn't use both the fire type and the Magby. Do I want Fury Attack? I don't think I do. Fury Attack, I want to say is normal. Yeah, we don't want that. Maybe an idea could be that, like, I have to add them to the team in the order that I got them. Like, say, like, I have a full team of six, and then I get a seventh Pokemon. I wouldn't be able to use the 7th Pokemon until one of my team members got taken out. But then if I decide to do the type restriction and I get duplicates of a type anyways, then I have to skip that anyways. Well then I guess I could just skip to the next Pokemon on the list that doesn't conflict with the typing restrictions. I don't know. I'll have to, think. I'll have to figure this out. Did I have to battle her? No, I had to check in. Finally get to where we were knocked off last time. Gonna battle hop. It's gonna go better this time. Hopefully. Uh, I'm leading off with Magby because I want to save Rookie D for his Grookie. I mean, realistically, Rookie D might have been just been able to solo this whole team, especially if I set up a few home calls. But I'm just gonna go with this. Yeah, we seem to be pretty on level, so we'll let Magby handle the first half of the battle. Seems to be some decent damage. Yep. And then I know he also has a um, a Rookie D. So maybe we can bring in Shinx on that as well to get some to get some experience on it. Do we need to be worried about this? I don't think so. I think we've only hit it twice so far and it's doing a third each time. 
Okay, not quite. Yeah. Take out the Wulu with Magby. Switch to Rookie D for his Grookie. And then switch to our Rookie D. No. Switch to Rookie D for his Grookie. And then switch to Shinx for his Rookie D. I think that's what we're doing. Right. And it's just been using a bunch of, like, stat reduction moves. And we outspeed, so it doesn't really matter. And we're not even using physical attack. Good experience all around. Magby wants to learn Clear Smog. What does Clear Smog even do? Oh. Um, no, I think we're good without that. You know, that's something I could consider for the rest of this, is switching the battle to uh, set mode. So that I wouldn't be able to switch between Pokemon. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I just realized that Grookey was 14. Yeah, I'm going to switch the, the battle to set mode after this. So there's no, like, switching between the Pokemon. Dude, that did quite a bit of damage. I'm going to use a Home Claws. Oh, that did a lot more damage. And it outspeeds us. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's two levels above us. We should be fine for at least one more. We'll see how much this does. Oh, it's crit. That explains it. Oh, do we want to risk it again? It was a crit last time, so it did more. But it, but Scratch did more damage than that anyways. Let me use a potion real quick. It was using Growl anyways. But that was going to lower our attack. We should still knock it out anyways, but... Why would you... Whatever. Not gonna try to add logic to the computer. Yeah, and then we're gonna bring in uh, Rookie D. Or not Rookie D, Shinx. Just because I wanna try to keep everyone like semi close to the same level. And, like, we're probably not super overleveled yet. Yeah, in fact, like, we've been underleveled throughout the battle. Oh, the Shinx has Intimidate. Oh, that's so good. Easy battle. And now we finally made it farther than we did last time. We're officially in new territory. Well, in new territory for this playthrough. That is. Jinx wants to learn bite? Oh, yes, please. 
Let's get rid of probably Leer. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of Tackle. And of course, we will take a Thunder Wave. I guess let's just get rid of Leer. Now, I think we can just immediately go to the next route. I mean, we are going to go heal first, but we should be able to go get to a spot where we can go get a new encounter. All right, and uh, let's go check out our new Pokemon that we should be able to get. We're now on Route 3. Who do I want to front? Let's put your teeny up front so we can Thunder Wave. This one will probably be the easiest. Now, I think what will happen is I'll get this Pokemon... I'll do the trade, and then between the episodes, I might try to figure out like what kind of rule set I'm gonna like apply to this. Should be able to level Twister. See, so yeah, obviously, if I was just do like a basic uh, Nuzlocke with like all the random Pokemon to get through the Wonder Trade, it might be a little bit too easy. I'm not sure yet, although I feel like it will be. So I feel like I need to put something, like some kind of restriction on, or even multiple restrictions. I think I definitely go with the, the set battle style instead of allowing switches. In fact, before I do the wonder trade, I'll probably go ahead and turn that on. Especially since all these Pokemon are traded, they'll be getting extra experience. So I'll run in here to avoid the wild Pokemon. Uh, battle style set. And now let's go and start working on this trade. All right, so goodbye Zigzagoon. And it's getting, we're getting a gen Pokemon, which means it's probably over leveled. Yep, it, it, that is definitely not something we can keep. So uh, yep, that's going right back in. All right, attempt number two, trading off this gen heat ran. And the team now receives a score bunny. Well, we got our starter back. Obviously not the same one, but we got a score bunny again. And now this is where I need to really think about like type restrictions and whatnot. Because now that I have the score bunny, we now have two fire types. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to figure out the rules set before I go to the next episode. A good move set too. And this libero. But uh, yeah, that'll be the end for now. And uh, I'll figure out what I'm doing before I record the next episode. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you know that I appreciate you. If you're interested in watching more, right here will be a link to a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And here will be a link to my newest video. Or if the live stream is more your thing, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much.